Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free pack for DaVinci Resolve. This pack used to be for sale on our website but we removed it a few years ago because it wasn't aligned anymore with the quality standard that we set for ourselves. However, it's still a very useful pack and I felt like it was a shame to let it collect dust on a hard drive so instead I decided to share it with you for free. You can download it with the link in the description below and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so you can download that testimonial pack by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you'll find a couple of things. You got the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to use. In that case, we are using Montserrat, so just select the entire font in the Montserrat family and double click on them to start the installation process. No need to reinstall them if you already have the Montserrat family installed. Now you can double click on the GFX file and start to install the pack itself. So here you can select install. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to effect, titles, visitor studio, and then you can scroll all the way down until you find the testimonial pack. In this pack, you will find 10 different titles that you can use in your project. So here I'm gonna start by dragging one here in the timeline and show you some of the functionality. This one is one of the most recent pack that we've created. So we've just removed it because it didn't really fit uh, anymore with what we were trying to offer. And I thought it was uh, helpful to people. So that's why we're sharing it uh, for free. But it got most of all most recent functionality. Here you can adjust the animation length in second. So right now we have an animation that is lasting one second. But if we want that to be faster or slower, we can just increase that here uh, by selecting two seconds instead. And now the animation will take two seconds to fully complete. Um, here we have a control that allows us to choose the number of stars that we want. So here we could uh, choose three, four, five star, so on and so forth. And then you have control over the animation art. Right now by default it's none, but you can replicate the animation in, or you could choose zoom in, zoom out, rise up, sing down, pan left, pan right, and fade out. So here, for example, if we select a sing down, as you can see, we'll have the usual animation come again and then add the animation out the star will just sink down at the bottom of the screen and then we have the usual certain position we have the colors and we have also a control for the background to have like a, an opacity layer between uh, the title and the footage in the background other than that those are pretty standard so here if i were to drag another one as you can see i can extend uh, the length of the title as long as i want for this one specifically we could load an image so here i can go over to image browse and then we could load, for example, this face. Now again, as you can see, quick quirks on this one. The face is not showing up right away in the mask. Uh, we would need to kind of like expand the size and bring that back in and then reducing the size. Um, it's because it depends uh, on the actual format of the image that has been loaded and sometimes it just bring it at different uh, you know, point of the screen. So the easiest workaround for this is just to extend the size and then uh, bringing back the image in the middle and then reducing the size. Again, one of the small quirks that pushed me to remove that pack from our website. Now all four uh, pack of that thing normally working. Now you can choose again the size and position. So here we could bring that down and make it a lower third, for example. Uh, you will have control over the stars here again. So you could uh, remove um, some stars. You can adjust the position of those stars to just put it anywhere you want. For example, here uh, you could, you know, place them right after the name of the person, reducing the overall size of them to make it fit a bit better. So you do have quite a lot of flexibility with the actual layout and the way you want it to look. And um, then same thing here, you can adjust the description. Uh, you can change the font, the size, the tracking, the overall position of it as well, and uh, the author name right there. And that's pretty much it. I'll let you browse around uh, the pack and see if you find a few titles that will be helpful in your project. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more advanced titles, you can check out uh, our latest pack on our website at videodutestudio.com. Anyway, I hope this pack will be helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. 
get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoditorstudio.com.